Welcome, you're here with me, Amaya, on a Friday morning. It's the weekend, yeah. And I'm sure all of you are looking forward to what's coming up in the next couple of days as well. But Fridays are always a good day, and of course, that doesn't mean that there's no work on Fridays. And so I'm sure all of you are getting up and about and going about everything you have to do today. Uh, but uh, when it comes to things that we hold dear to our hearts, you know, our families are there, and then we have pets we have uh, different possessions that we have and I think pe some most people would count their motor vehicles as something that are as very very prized possessions when it comes to all the things that they own and why not of course you invest a lot in a motor vehicle and you buy something that you really love and uh, you know you make it your own and it runs for you day and night and it's very important to know how to take care of your vehicle and also to know some of the basics of uh, owning a vehicle as well as vehicle maintenance. Uh, so we have a very, very special guest with us on the show this morning. Now he is someone who is no stranger uh, to uh, actually our sister channel, Sirisa, and he has been doing the show Autovision on Sirisa for the past 12 years. And I think that show actually has a cult following by now, but this is the first time that he's here on Good Morning Sri Lanka with us, and it's lovely to have him on the show. He is a pioneer of motor engineering here in Sri Lanka, Mr. Lal Alawatta. Good morning, Lal. Good morning, good morning, Amaya. It's lovely to have you on the show and I think we've been trying to get you on the show yes. for so long. You're finally here and I'm very glad that I got to do this show. So it's great to have you here. Now, are you a, a morning person usually? Yes, basically I... I start my work early in the morning okay. so i'm always a good morning person i would say all ah, right okay then so it's great to have you on the show then uh, but uh, now we're speaking today all about um, the basics of vehicle maintenance and sort of understanding your vehicle now do you see find that lots of people although they may love their cars they may love their motorbikes they may love whatever vehicle they have they don't really know how to maintain it properly Yes, Samaya. Now, as engineers, we never expect people to know everything in the vehicle, which, no, which is not uh, practical. Mm -hmm. So, but we would like them to know certain things, at least the basics of vehicles. Mm -hmm. What to call an engine, what, to, what is your gearbox, what are the inside components, and the body, exterior, interior, the tires, wheels, and the basic maintenance which they require mm -hmm. and how you do it and how frequently you should do it and how you get the advice or the opinion from a professionally qualified guy mm -hmm. to do all these things we expect people to know these things yes. and uh, one might think okay I can do my own car maintenance mm -hmm. which is not practical and which is not true but you can do certain checks or test. Yeah, okay. So that's, what are the things possible. that you don't need to go to a garage for? What can you do yourself at uh, your own place? Well, you should know how to check your oil level, how to check your coolant level, okay. and how to check the condition of the battery, battery water level, distilled water level, and the tire inflation. Plus how to change your tire in case of emergency. <laughs> Most of our lady drivers, they don't know how to change the tire when there's a puncture. But that's because Sri Lankans are so nice and friendly and there's always someone around to change the tire. Yes. But no, but no, that's that, not a very really good reason no, at all. that's not an excuse. At all. Uh, so those are very important things. Mm -hmm. At least uh, once in a way, you should try and change your tire. Yes on your own without uh, get the assistance from Definitely. another guy. But actually that, that is very important, yes. isn't it? Because being able to do that it make, gives you a level of independence yes. and also it, you have to have an understanding of the vehicle that you're driving, I'm sure. Uh, but pre-driving checks, now before um, you get into the car and you put your yes. seat belt on and you get ready uh, to put it into the first gear and drive off, I'm yes. sure there are things that you have to check and make sure that uh, they're at the correct level for the car to run properly. So yes. what are the sort of uh, basic things that you would say everyone should be sure of before they start their vehicles? Now Amaya, according to the old book, mm -hmm. you are supposed to check your water, oil, 
and uh, all these liquid <laughs> levels daily. That's according to the old book. Mm -hmm. But nowadays, <laughs> cars are very modern. Uh, I don't say not only the lady drivers, even our male drivers, uh, they have to check their water and oil levels daily. But at least you should know how to check them mm -hmm. once, of once course. in a while, mm -hmm. once a week. And before you get into the car, it's always good to do a small round and see the tire pressure because there could be a puncture mm -hmm. overnight and we are with, uh, with a flat tire. Mm -hmm. You never know. You, 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 in the morning, early in the morning, with your busy schedule and all that, yes. you get into the car okay. and you start driving. Yes. So, which is not that recommended. Mm -hmm. And uh, before you drive fast, within the first couple of meters, it's a very good habit if you can press your brake pedal and see the condition of brakes. Oh, okay, that's a very because good. Because there uh, could be yeah. a brake failure in the night mm -hmm. because there are rats or dogs. They sometimes bite your brake hose. Mm. There could be a, a leakage of brake fluid. Those are because we have experienced such incidents, okay. and uh, all of a sudden you apply brake, mm -hmm. no brake. So that's very dangerous. And so I, I always advise drivers to just feel the brake pedal condition mm -hmm. within the first couple of meters then you you realize okay my brake is in good shape mm -hmm. that's one good thing plus uh, the stability of the vehicle within the first couple of meters whether it's pulling to a side whether something mechanically wrong in this so without just accelerating it as soon as you get into the car that's not a very good habit and Especially when you are parking the vehicle on the on the on a paved surface, if you can reverse it or take it forward and see whether there are oil patches, ah, right. you can definitely uh, see if something is see wrong. See something, um, and if there's an oil patch, you should think it this way: all these oil leaks could increase or develop without prior notice. Of it course. could be a slight drop, mm -hmm. but within the next couple of days, it could be a very huge leak. So, so attend to that. All of these checks are very important. Very important. And I think we have to go for a very short break, Lal. Yes. But we'll be right back with, uh, we're just starting to accelerate on the show here, but we're doing the free driving checks. So stay with us on Good Morning Sri Lanka. We'll be right back. It's all about knowing your vehicle 101 on Good Morning Sri Lanka today and we have Mr. Lal Alawat, a veteran in this field who's here with us to share his expertise and we've spoken about how important it is to have pre-driving checks Lal yes. and to make sure that everything's in a good condition before you start off. But now I know for a fact that there are different types of vehicles and when you classify them I think the most basic is the manual vehicle yes. and the automatic vehicle. Uh, so can we speak about these two and the differences between the two and when it comes to you know advantages that you have on in on either model? Yes, now uh, this is mainly the gearbox. Okay. Gearbox is in, in layman's language the transmission that's the right technical term mm -hmm. transmission. So, automatic transmission and manual transmission. Difference is, in manual transmission, you have to manually, that's on your own, manually, you have to select the right speed of the gearbox. Mm -hmm. Right speed. That's right speed. You must select it according to the speed and your desire and all that. Okay. okay. You have to select. In automatics, it selects automatically the right gear. Mm -hmm. It selects automatically. So, you have given your command to another component. So, it takes the command. Your command mm -hmm. is basically made by another component. Yes. So, you are free. <laughs> you are free. So, that is your comfort. Driving comfort is always more on automatic, automatic gearbox. gearbox. And at the same time, your activities are less. You know, in a normal or manual gearbox, you have to press your clutch pedal. Then, then only you can shift your gear. Oh, yes, sir. Now, you just think about the traffic jams we have today in cities. <laughs> if you are driving a manual gearbox, 
you have to press the clutch pedal all the time when you engage gears so your left leg starts <laughs> paining after some time and clutch balancing is clutch whole balancing other is another thing. Yes. as well for yes. lady drivers especially <laughs> i'm sure many men But also suffer from the same problem you you are free of mm. all that the disadvantages you don't get the driving pleasure you don't get the driving pleasure in automatics because you can't you can't trash it as you like you can't rev the engine in low gears as you like because if you rev it it will fall onto the the next gear next gear yes that's that's automatic okay and the consumption always the consumption is little more fuel consumption is little more with automatic gears oh i see because it it has a certain internal slippage mm mm-hmm. it slips internally before it comes to the next gear that's the characteristic of uh, automatic gearbox so it's about 5 to 7% consumption difference between the oh. automatic and the manual you so have to keep these things keep in mind things when in you mind. go to buy your yes. next vehicle maybe and then you can So you select the pros and the cons, and yes. select what you like. Of course, whether it's driving pleasure or comfort that you're going for, basically when it comes to automatic and manual. Uh, but now, when you speak about the traffic jams here in Sri Lanka, and I'm sure that I I have this question yes. now. When you're uh, stationary in a traffic jam for a long, long time, is it okay to switch off the engine and then start uh, the car up again, or does that consume? a lot for fuel what's the most efficient way of doing it if your interest is only on fuel you can do so what do you mean if you switch off the engine you are you are full you will save some save. fuel okay okay but no air conditioning i don't know how you are going to i mean <laughs> stay inside the car without air conditioning plus starting and stopping is the most dangerous points of the engine as far as the wear and tear is concern oh i see uh, wear and tear is always very high when starting and when stopping mm-hmm. so if you stop 10 times and if you start 10 times you have these high wear and tear points into 10 so i always as an engineer i advise don't think about the consumption all the time you have your comfort because you are in ac comfort plus you are saving a engine life mm-hmm. please start your engine and be inside the car with the ac on mm-hmm. and that's the best advice that's that you can give advice. so we have advice from a professional and it's something that you should definitely keep in mind uh, but when it comes to other problems now car breakdowns it's yes. a very general term yes. uh, but cars can break down for so many reasons and um, i think it's very important for our viewers as well to be aware of some of the causes because if you know the cause then you might be able to prevent it so now what are the most common causes of uh, what we call car breakdown negligence <laughs> because there are in in maintenance there is a special section is called preventive maintenance okay okay preventive maintenance is for you to use the car without breakdowns mm-hmm. with very minimal breakdowns mm-hmm. for that you have to have a good repairer you must listen to it is advice a honest straightforward repairer and uh, you must stick to his advices and do the maintenance regularly frequently according to the schedule 